in the in the timeline. All right. Hello, hello. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the stream, the PS2 Gauntlet, game number 113. Holy hell. Um, there was a cutscene that played whenever I first booted the game up. Uh, but I was, like, getting things set up, so I didn't get to pause it right away. I'm hoping that whenever we hit new game, it'll play it again. If not, we're going to have to restart the game, which isn't that big of a deal. The only annoying thing is, is that I did go in and change some options around. So I'm hoping that, like, you know, at the very least, it'll save the options if we have to reset. But we'll find out, I guess, whenever we hit new game in just a moment. Uh, we do have a prediction going. What do you guys think I'm going to end up rating this game? Am I going to want to finish it? Am I going to put it on my backlog to be finished eventually? Am I not going to like it so much? Is it going to be, you know, meh? Or is it going to be a good game, but just not for me? I've mentioned before, that's something that I kind of want to do more regularly. Um, and I just kept forgetting, but <laughs> I remembered this time. So we got that thrown up there. Hey, Mr. Noodle, welcome to the stream, love. Glad you can make it tonight. Uh, I mean, basically every night, but you know, I'm happy to see you here nonetheless. Okay, let's hit a new game though, and see if that cutscene plays or what. This title screen has me a little bit worried. The fact that this is all there is to the title screen. I, it's, it's kind of a superstition of mine that games with bad title screens usually don't end up being good games. <laughs> and this is... Not a great title screen, but I've heard a lot of good things about Jack 3, so fingers crossed. Let's hit new game. Let's see if that cutscene plays. If not, uh, I'm going to get up and hit that reset button. Yes, let's create a save file. I forgot to swap my memory cards again because that's just what I do at this point. I'm never going to end up swapping them. <laughs> Dude, I, one of these days, one of these days I'm going to remember to swap the damn things. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Come on, create the damn save. This is why I need to swap the memory cards so that this right here doesn't happen. <laughs> ah, it takes so long, dude. And I'm assuming it's because, like, I think the memory cards use the Magic Gate technology that, that Sony had. Um, they also used it on some of their, like, camera memory cards and stuff like that. And uh, basically anything without Magic Gate just ended up being really, really slow and sometimes unusable on, on other devices. I'm assuming it's kind of the same here with the memory cards. Okay, this is not the cutscene, I don't think. I love water. Oh yes. It's so good. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get up and hit the restart button. Because I don't think this is the cutscene. And my monks were ready to pray for you. Bonus, we get that amazing PS2 startup sound, so, you know. There it is. <laughs> it's like, come on, PS2 logo, give us the little, the little, boom. <laughs> it's so nostalgic, man, the PS2 startup sound. Freaking love it. I hope that it saved our settings, but we'll see. Whenever we get back into it. Is it going to play the cutscene again or not, though? I wonder, since now that I have a save on the memory card, if it'll play it or if it's just going to skip it. I'm assuming it gives us some, like, backstory on how we got to this point. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here's here's the cutscene. So we'll, we'll let this play out. I'm assuming this is what links 2 to 3. I don't know that for sure, because we never got around to finishing 2. At least not yet. But, uh... Nice title card. See, why isn't this the 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 title screen? You know, like the the desert area there. Of the Grand Council of Haven City for heinous acts and crimes against the people, you are hereby banished to the wasteland for life. This is a death sentence, Vigor. There must be another way. Your protest was overruled. This dark eco freak is dangerous. Now drop the cargo. This is an outrage. I am outraged beyond words. Although I do have something to say. Not everyone agrees with this ridiculous <laughs> decree. Yeah, we want a recount. Oh, I see. Who's the monkey parrot? Join him. Actually, we are not that outraged. Farewell, Jack. Stay out of the sun. Drink lots of water. If you can find it. 
Dax? Go back to the city, Dax. I'm sorry. The council is too powerful. There was nothing I... I know. You just stay alive, you hear me? That's an order. Someone will find you. I promise. May the precursors have mercy on you. No idea, like, who any of these characters were. <laughs> I mean, Jack. Obviously, I recognize Jack. Daxter, okay. But the the monkey parrot because you wouldn't last a that that lady the the council okay, dude you got us into this mess now you gotta get us out ah what a team we'll make let's just get moving <sighs> but which way that, that way. way oh and i suppose you know where you're going huh better than you do bent beak uh, let's just move this was all your stupid idea no, it was yours. Only a bird brain could have thought this one up. Let's go with him. We'll help together. You mean we'll die together? I can't believe the city hates us. We saved those lowlifes. I, I I guess in number two, we saved the city? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's a little bit of background. section of the industrial area. My men are getting their asses kicked. The KG have a new leader. Trying to find out who it is. I'm afraid I've got more bad news. A large group of survivors. Nate's here somewhere. I don't know what he's doing at the moment, but. Of the city. But we destroyed Core. It appears the strongest metalheads have survived. The battle for the city has just begun. The people are blaming you, Jack. Okay, so we saved them, but we made some sort of call that some people didn't agree with in number two. A nap would be nice. Just a teensy little rest. This bird is overcooked. I wouldn't suggest taking a nap in the middle of the desert sun, though. That, <laughs> that doesn't seem like a great idea. Report! It's bad. The city's become a battlefield. Mechanized death bots have taken the industrial section. And the surviving metalheads have expanded their hold on the west side. I think we met that dude, right? The Pretty early on. Did we meet her in number two with a little bit of time that we played? You don't believe that, do you? What's in the past is done. Right now, metalheads are assaulting the palace. They're looking for something, and I have no idea. Okay, so we saved everyone, but they blame us for the invasion in the first place. I think maybe that's what's going on? I guess. I don't know, man. We need a Jack and Daxter expert up in here. Some <laughs> someone that can give us some sort of idea what the hell's going on. some live ones <laughs> barely here's the beacon we were picking up who gave you this we'll take them with us let's move i smell a storm coming no i didn't watch the rice thing yet love i did that or i cooked that after i cooked the uh after i did the dishes Press the start button. Okay, there we go. So that's that's the, the pre-roll thing. Did it save our options? I think it did, because this looks super crisp and clear. Uh, or not. Okay. There we go. That's a little bit better. Put progressive scan back on. The screen looks not centered, actually. So let's center that. Which means I probably need to change my settings a little bit. Yeah. That looks better. Uh, sound option. I don't think I changed anything. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I did. I did. One other thing. Camera option. Flip. There we go. I think that was everything. Okay. New game. Let's go. Uh, game one. Uh, overwrite. Sure. I don't care. I mean, it's not like we really did anything with that save anyways, but might as well overwrite it. Right back into the cutscene. Let's go. So how did we make it here after passing out in the middle of the desert, though? That's what I want to know. It's so good. There's a bed. Well, you've come back from the dead, have you? And my monks were ready to pray for you. I am Damus, king of Spargus. 
Spargus? Wait, nobody lives outside Haven's walls. Not a whole city. Ah, yes. We are the Forgotten Ones. Haven City's refuse thrown out and left to die. Just as you were. But now that you have been saved, your life belongs to the people of Spargus. And we will use it well, if it's actually worth anything. Hey, that sounds like a bad deal. You are in no position to deal. Out here, everything is either useful or dead weight. Prove yourselves worthy, or the desert will be your grave. You need to work on making a better first impression. <laughs> in the unforgiving wasteland, we value strength and survival above all. We will see where you stand soon enough. Complete your training, then enter the arena. Just the bravest crawl out and are allowed to stay in Spargus. It's quite simple, really. Um, what happens to the ones that don't crawl out? Then it will be as if we never found you. I was afraid of that. I'm assuming it's gonna like lose our power somehow. Welcome to the arena of from the other games. Where we get to watch other people we'll see. They said it'll tell. I mean, I figured it would eventually. Hopefully. Pecker, that's his name. Okay. To be his new counselor. He says my wisdom will serve him well. Oh yeah, and uh, Demos also says that uh, you two are likely to die in the arena today. And he hopes you're Sounds good. Very, uh... <laughs> you stop that. Demos can talk about himself. He's right. You will most likely die. And yes, Pecker is my new advisor. Unlike you, some people appreciate my talents. It beats working for a living. I Who is this guy? <laughs> Where did he come from? Let the games begin! Seems we have a bit of a love-hate relationship with him, but, uh... <laughs> the following? Okay, so that's, that's autosave. Got it. You must collect all the okay, we can jump. We can double jump. I'm assuming, yeah, we can do the, the ground pound thing. We can do the punch thing. Can we fall off with the punch? I don't know. We can spin. We can crouch and probably jump high. Yep, yep. Uh, I'm assuming that has something to do with our transformation thing, but we can't do that yet. Okay. We can roll sometimes. I don't really... <laughs> I don't really know the point of that right now. Or why I brought it up right there. It's not like we needed to roll there. Yep, double jump, got it. Uh, we should also be able to crouch jump up here, right? Um, okay, hold on, hold on. We probably want to get these ones first. I'm assuming we have to collect all of them. I'm surprised that it kind of let me uh, skip this section over there. I thought that was another one of these little orbs for us to collect. I think it might be the sun. Oh, this looks like a hidden little thing. Does it do anything? No. Oh, it's another way. Oh, it's if we miss the jump. Very cool. Okay. I do appreciate that. I like that sort of thing. Not having an instant death pit is definitely appreciated. You can by using a jump uh, camera? Okay. <laughs> so... Definitely some camera issues, but that's all right. It's not that big of a deal. We'll see how often that comes up. All right, we collected all your little orb thingies. What do you want from us next, dude? I'm guessing we're going to end up having to fight something, but... Murder some fool to, to prove our worth, our strength, that we can hold our own. You haven't forgotten what I taught you, Jack. Anyone can make a few measly jumps. Now let's see how you rate against the living. Yeah, there we go. The Prepare the arena for full combat. Prepare the arena for full combat. I just said that. I know I was just adding, you know, how you do the thing with the... Anyway, prepare the warriors. You mean we, we have to fight against actual people? With actual weapons? Who actually will hurt us? Fine, bring them on. 
right, that's it. I want to be on his shoulder. <laughs> Why are you worried? Like, we have fought so many things at this point. This shouldn't be anything new. Oh, okay. This is like a close range shotgun sort of deal. I thought it was going to be like a rifle. I'm not going to lie. So I'm a bit surprised, but that's fine. Um, is the lava rising or something? Yep. Okay. Is there a long range mode to the gun? Oh, okay. So now we can activate our dark mode though. No, it doesn't seem like it. We might've been able to jump to the other platform though. If we had, uh, if we had tried. The gun actually seems about as effective as our normal weapon is. I want to try and jump over there, but I don't know if it's instantly going to kill us if we touch the lava. I'm a little worried about that. In fact, this platform even is looking a little hot, not going to lie. I don't know if we should be standing on that. <laughs> hey, Psycho, what's up, man? Wait, did we just jump on his head? Can you do that? Is that a thing that works? Now I want to try it. No, okay. We must, uh, I don't know what happened exactly, but <laughs> somehow we seem to damage that dude whenever we jumped on him. Just luck, I guess? I don't really know. Kind of sucks that it started us with a close range weapon. I would have really liked to have a uh, long range one to start with. Especially since, you know, there's these whole platform things. Wait, am I in am I in dark mode? Uh get up. Okay, this camera's <laughs> this camera's gonna be a problem, man. <laughs> it is not great. We've missed you too, dude. Seriously though, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. And you made it for what hopefully is gonna be a good night of some uh Jack 3, man. I don't know, Jack 2 left me a little eh about the series. But I've been told that Jack 3 is much better, so I'm hoping I'm hoping for good stuff. What is that? Are we still in dark mode? I keep disabling it. But it seems to Yeah, it keeps re-enabling itself. What is that about? That's weird. I guess we just have to stay in dark mode right now? For some reason? I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a story thing? Okay, yeah, because it seems like it just deactivated itself there, too. So, I guess it was some sort of story thing. Something you're not telling us, animal man? He has been touched with dark eco, my leash. Our boy here gets all mean and nasty when you piss him off. So don't piss him off. Word to the wise. Ah, then he is dangerous, and that could be useful. Your bravery has earned you your first battle amulet. If you are victorious in two more arena fights, you will earn your citizenship to Spargus. Here is a gate pass to allow free passage in and out of the city. But beware, there is no true refuge outside our walls. The desert is less kind than I. And for your victory, a gun mod is your prize. Oh yeah, now we're talking. So we haven't even earned citizenship, but you're giving us keys to the gates and, and guns and, and shit? Like, <laughs> what? What kind of, are you like running around? What's going on here? I have no idea what's running on here either, to be honest, man. I'm just as confused as you are, I promise. Oh, okay, so. So that's like long range and that's like shotgun. Okay. That works, I guess. Um. I'm very, I, I, I'm very confused. I have no idea what the hell's going on. Who's the genius that went to the middle of the tic-tac-toe board? That was me. <laughs> I just wanted to throw a spot up there. I'm conversing with me sweet departed mom. Of course you, you boarhead. You two are from the big smoke, eh? Who's asking? The guy who runs this place. That's who. Cleave is the name. You blokes stick with me, and I'll take care of you. In fact, I've got a job for you right now. Ride me leaper lizard here and catch a few of those little buggers that have been raiding me storerooms. Snag me six of them puppies, and I'll let you drive one of me racing vehicles. That is, if Amos ever lets you leave the city. I think we can handle that. No! I hate riding animals! They make me chafe. 
Okay, so wait, Cleaver... I'm assuming Cleaver just thinks he's a badass, and that's why he's saying he runs the city. Because I'm. it seems like that other dude... I already forget his we name, but <laughs> I'm assuming he's the one who actually runs the city, right? From the from the, the looks of things, at least, that's how it's working. Uh, so what are these? I'm, I guess that's that must be ammo, right? Because we're picking up, like, yellow ones and red ones, and that's the color of our two different weapons that we have at the moment. All right, I guess, uh, I guess we're going to be riding around on this dude now. Collecting the red dots. There's one of those buggers. Get it, Jack. So close. You got it. Ooh, What's the question mark for? What was the exclamation part rewards for? <laughs> I don't know what that command is. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, camera. Work with us here. This is an intro to the game, I suppose. So far, though, I like the layout of this city more than the the, the last one. Um, I see another one. Ah, you missed them. The last one was very like constrictive. Like it didn't seem like you could really do much of what you wanted. You were kind of just stuck along a path. This one, it seems like you can platform around, maybe find some secrets and stuff, which could be fun, you know. So I like that about it. Oh, the channel point redeem info. Um, do you mean the 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 poll that we were running, or just in general? I don't want to dismount. I want to eat the thing. Where the hell did it go? Where did my camera go? I don't want to dismount. I want to. <laughs> I want to do the stupid mission that we were sent on. Oh, like, what does reverse reverse do? Uh, I have to flip my controller upside down. I thought... I never get to see my channel as a viewer, but I thought it had uh, descriptions on the uh, on the individual things. If it doesn't, I should probably set up something like that command you just tried to use, though. On mobile? Oh, yeah, see, no, I definitely don't ever get to see my, uh, <laughs> my own view my own channel on mobile. I have no idea. Maybe it doesn't on mobile. That seems like a uh, oversight on Twitch's end there, but if that's the case, I will definitely have to make a note of that and add a command like that. Ah, dude, come on. Where'd you go? Yes, I know I missed him, Daxter. Thanks for the uh, info there, bud. Yeah, if you want to know more about any of them, though, I'm happy to uh, to tell you what they do. But that's what Reverse Reverse is. I'll flip the controller upside down for, what was it, five minutes? I think it's five minutes is what it says. Not bad, blokes. Maybe me food stores will last a little longer now. If Tamos ever gives you a pass to leave the city, I'll let you take one of me rides for a spin. See you around, newbies. Yeah, you too, dude. Uh, why did we not have any subtitles there? That's odd. Check out these funny dudes, huh? <laughs> nice thread. I didn't know Rubber was back in. What are you working on, monk boy? It is none of your concern, animal. Look, coloring book, we've had a hard week. Don't push it. The arena shows all, Dark One. Hate consumes your eyes. Great. Thanks for the tip. It will destroy you, just as these precursors destroyed themselves. It doesn't look like any precursor crap we've seen. These artifacts are an abomination. One fell on the Great Volcano. We sent an expedition to the mountain. But my monks never returned. Ill tidings sing in the wind. I fear the remaking of the world is at hand. I think you've been out in the sun a little too long. Let's go, Jack. You must leave this place. Heroes think they can save the world when they themselves are lost. You could not possibly understand the dark forces at work here. Don't talk to me about dark powers. I want to know what this is. Oh. Stand back. <laughs> so we powered it with our, our own dark energy or whatever. Um, use X. Okay. So it's a, a rhythm game, basically. It's kind of weird because it's pulsing at the same time that, you know, the shit's coming down, but... 
I think we can handle it. We missed two, apparently. <laughs> we probably missed one when I had no idea what the hell was going on. Oh, shit. I almost missed another one. Uh, It's all right. We got this. We're fine. Everything is fine. Why so many? Come on. 49. So we don't have to wait for it to be, like, right in the center. It just has to be touching it. Oh, no. When we hit the wrong button, we get a miss. That's where the other miss came from. So I accidentally hit a, uh, I think, like, triangle or something when I showed up. 65. Just 10 more. There we go. Dope. So does this unlock something for us? A new power, or...? <laughs> that doesn't look good. Even you cannot save us from this hero. Hey, I'm the real hero here. You can call me Orange Lightning. Z -z you may carry the color of our creator's animal, but we have plans to save ourselves. Stay out of our business. You and Orange Lightning are not. <laughs> don't call him Orange Lightning, <laughs> please. Don't, don't feed his ego, man. He's got a big enough one as it is. So are we going to end up fighting the cult dudes at some point? I feel like we're going to end up fighting the cult dudes at some point. That's going to be a thing. Can we talk to random people? Nope. I'm assuming maybe the gray dots are people that we can talk to, though. Or no, okay, the gray dots are the, the little thingies that we can ride around on. Well, it's certainly a faster way to move around than on foot, so we'll take it. I'm still not 100% sure how I feel about Jack going, like, the GTA route of having a city that you run around in and then little mission points and things like that. It's odd, man. Press triangle to trade four skull gems. Okay, well, seems like we don't have any of those right now, so... Can't do that at the moment. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, uh, well... Hero, too slow. 
And we should be back. <laughs> Thank you for saying something, Psycho. Because I've been talking this whole time. I have no idea how long the uh, mic was dead for. I've brought it up before. It's a problem with RTX voice. I don't know why, but every once in a while, RTX voice just kind of dies. Um, and yeah, it, it, that's, just, <laughs> that's just what happens. It, like, it doesn't even say or do anything when it dies. It just crashes and disappears. Closes itself, basically. And then I had to restart it. But uh, thank you for the five bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate that, love. And then, what was I saying? Oh, that I like the system with the secrets, where you can unlock different things. Like the... Whether it's the cheat codes, like big head mode and, and stuff like that, that doesn't really matter so much. Or weapon upgrades, all that, all that junk. I like systems like that. Those are neat. Uh, there's got to be something at that big-ass island over there, right? Why else would they put it there? Oh, we can actually dive underwater, too? Very cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're meant to, to swim across that. So, <laughs> maybe we'll just not do that again. I'm thinking there's probably going to be some way to get over there eventually, though. Because that, that definitely looks like a... Like a, a place where they would hide some cool secrets of some kind. Might as well collect as many of the orbs as we can in the meantime. What's this? Okay, yep. I can dismount. Going up, but for what? It's a long-ass elevator. Oh, this is where we... This is where we spawned in at. Okay. Like, once the, the beginning cutscene ended. Does that mean... Is this the way out? Why in the hell you went P1 and the computer goes P2 right after that? I have no idea. <laughs> like I said, sometimes that... Uh, we're dead. Sometimes the uh, the, the Streamlabs tic-tac-toe AI just makes no sense at all. Other times, it's an extremely strong player that feels like it's impossible to beat. It just kind of switches back and forth at its own whim, man. <laughs> I don't know why it does what it does. It's... I Yeah. Obviously a dumb move on its part, but what does it care? I guess it's a robot. So wait, can we get out from here or no? I guess maybe this is just some sort of palace thing or something. We'll go back down. I thought maybe this was the gate to get out of the city. But it doesn't seem that way. Damn you, Skyrim. You distracted me. Hey, Dis uh, Disskyrim? <laughs> Skyrim has distracted all of us at one point or another, so I totally get it, man. No worries, Rue. Though you guys did all miss the, uh... The, the thing at the beginning. To bet your points. I think even Nate missed the thing to, uh, to donate the points. And we all know his... Him and his gambling addiction. I cannot talk, man. Nothing new, I know, but holy hell. Eight Skull Gems. Okay, does that increase, like, every time? Or do different ones just have different costs, I wonder? You're back home, so your Wi-Fi is good? That's awesome. You predicted. You did predict, Noodle. But uh, you were the only one, so sadly you have nothing to gain. <laughs> I'll probably just invalidate the results since you were the only one to, uh, to bet. Because even if you predict right, since you're the only one that uh, predicted anything, you won't win anything. You'll just get your points back. You asked a question and didn't hear a response, so you were like, Yeah, like I said, that was RTX voice. Sorry about that. I'll answer it after the cutscene here. Great stink of the precursus. I got two words for you. Toothbrush. Nice rides. You like what you see? We use these babies to make runs into the deep desert to retrieve artifacts. Tough wheels for tough work. You said we could use one. I did, didn't I? But not one of those. Those are for the big boys. You can use that one. Ha! What a run! Seems to fit you. Get in, Dax. I'll drive. Can't wager a little something on the race, then. If you win, I'll let you keep that little vehicle for as long as you live. And if I win, I don't have anything. 
I'd say that yappy rodent of yours was a bit bony, <laughs> but skinned and butted, he'd make a nice treat. My vehicle against him. Forget it, buddy. Jack would never done. What? Don't worry. If there's one thing I can do, it's race. Oh yeah, he talks now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that buggy, that looks great, man, compared to these other ones. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Uh, so if I remember correctly, though, Psycho, your question is, why is a open world where you go places exclusive to GTA? That's the question you're talking about? Um, it's not, by any means. It's just, to the best of my knowledge, or at the very least in my mind, it was popularized by GTA, uh, specifically Grand Theft Auto 3. I'm sure there was some sort of game that did it before GTA 3, um, but to the best of my knowledge, that was the largest one that used that style of system with a, a open world city where you can run around, do whatever you want, and then different people at different checkpoints that you can do missions for, and where you can kind of like pick your missions for different people and things like that. Like, it just seems very GTA-esque to me. Again, maybe someone else did it first, but not that I know of. And uh, they did the same thing in Jack, too. And it just, to me, man, it, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with that system. I just personally like Jack 1 better, like the way they did it, with just the different worlds that you just run from place to place or different levels that you just run from place to place to. And it's all just, you know, one big contiguous world with, with smaller levels inside it or whatever. Okay, X is accelerate. That makes sense. Drive with left stick. We got it. So wait a second, if there's this whole city out here and they have cars and everything, how have they not... Oh, do we have to stop inside there? How has no one realized that there's people living outside of the city? Also, Nate, tell uh, Big Daddy Peewee that I say hello. Since you're helping him sort magic cards. I'm sure he appreciates that help too. Can we just like hit this with our car? Do we get something? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's just a light. Press L1 to jump. Oh. Can I not just drive through these chests? No, I cannot. Okay. That <laughs> answers that question. They look like the, the chests. Push to the side and press circle to skid turn. Okay, so we can drift with that. Kind of. It also stopped us really freaking quick, though. Wait, what? What's it want us to do? Press this to the side and L1 to jump? Jump in place? Oh, so we can like... We can use that to like turn in place? Okay, I guess if we ever get in like a really tight corridor or something that could come in handy. Seems weird. Now this is going to be our actual race, I'm presuming. Let's do this. Oh, shit. Okay, race started. I thought there was going to be like a countdown or something. You know, like a 3, 2, 1, go. Nope, we're just going, man. What's the red do? Turbo boost. Hell yeah, let's go. I wonder if we can like knock people off the track. Oh, God. Okay, get off <laughs> his ass, dude. There we go. Too easy. Three laps of this? I kind of wish there were, like, guns and shit that we could use on the buggy. You do appreciate the help. You have five different sets here. Welcome to the stream, Big Daddy Pee Wee. And, uh, yeah, I'm not surprised hearing that coming from you. <laughs> not even a little bit, man. Oh, so those red lights down there that I thought were, like... I'm assuming, yeah, okay, that, that slows us the hell down. I The the red lights down the bottom there, I thought that was going to be like, um, you know, the, the green light for go and shit like that. No, that's just our, that's just our boost meter. No, oh, and, oh, we have limited uses of the, or, okay, no, not limited use of the boost. Obviously, yeah, it runs out after a little while, but, like, we can't just use one into the next immediately or it doesn't use it all at one time 
there's a little bit of a pause in between each one. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, God. <laughs> Going a little bit off track. We're good. Everything's fine. You went on a four-day trip to your friend's house since his family does fireworks. You did wear black, though, to protest. Were the fireworks fun, at least? I'm thinking next year that uh, Noodle and I might save up some money to buy some uh, fireworks and set them off, man. Because uh, I love fireworks. Like, regardless, uh, I don't really celebrate the 4th, per se. But I do love some, some fireworks, dude. A lot of fun. I just like watching colorful things blow up. Like, <laughs> I saw one video somewhere. I don't know what city or anything like that. But I saw somewhere did a uh, drone show. A uh, light show with drones. And that was really cool. I, I presume that they did both fireworks and the drone show. But uh, drones, you know, they were able to coordinate them, presumably programmed with a computer, to do, like, all different kinds of shapes and have characters. Uh, it was, like, Star Wars themed, the one that that I saw. So they had, like, you know, Yoda and Darth Vader and their lightsabers and shit. Like, it was, it was just, it was actually really cool. I would love to see something like that. And, okay, that, uh, excuse me, gentlemen, you're kind of <laughs> blocking the freaking road. They were pretty. That's awesome, dude. I love whenever, like, I like the big ones that explode hard. I like being able to, like, feel it in my chest <laughs> whenever it goes off, you know, from the, from the shockwave, the boom of it. I just, yeah, I don't know. I like fireworks. I like things exploding. I think we have this in the bag, not gonna lie. Is that the finish line? Yeah, dude. The town your manager went to had heart fireworks. Those are nice. A little awkward since one of his cousins was pissed about a commercial on the radio talking about gender therapy. Ew. Yeah, that I <laughs> can certainly see how that would be awkward. That's uh, the big ones that explode into other big ones are cool. Yes, yes, they are. All of them are cool, <laughs> just to be frank, man. Again, big things exploding into pretty colors are just a lot of fun. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the shape is. The the crackly ones are fun. The, 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 the big ones that explode into other ones, the big booming ones, all of them are a fun time. Also, why are things suddenly trying to murder us out here? I did not sign up for this. I don't have a gun on my buggy. It, <laughs> I just have a buggy. This doesn't seem fair. Uh... Okay, so it's got a thing, but we can't seem to do anything with the thing. Maybe that's for something later. I don't know. I'm tempted to get out of the buggy and check it out, but I feel like one of those other buggies would murder us, so maybe not. Oh, yeah, we're taking damage, too. Okay. Yep. I'm just trying to get in the garage here, guys, if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Yep. Okay. We're good. Nice wheel work. My advisor here says you have vehicle skills. I can own my own. This one will be of use to us, Demos. I think you should keep him for now. Can it, Pecker? There are a number of artifacts to be found in the wastelands. Fresh storms churn the sand and reveal items that have been buried for centuries. Take the vehicle and find as many items as you can before the storms come again. And one more thing. If you get caught in the storms, they will tear the flesh from your very bones. Oh, great. Thanks for the pep talk. Okay, note to self, stay out of the storms. Storms are bad. <laughs> we don't we don't want anything to do with those. You're gonna buy noodles some fireworks? Uh sure, man. I don't celebrate the fourth, you know there's like 191 other countries to live in. I mean it's not as simple as just leaving a country. Just throwing that out there. Like, <laughs> you know, I have family, I have a job, etc. Um and I think not liking what your country is doing at the moment is a uh, perfectly valid reason not to celebrate. Besides that, I never really celebrated the 4th before the shit that's going on right now happened. I don't celebrate any holiday. Besides uh, Christmas, I give gifts to friends and family. And then uh, Easter, I usually give some, some candy to like, well, used to at least whenever I lived with children. 
And Valentine's Day, I give something to my girlfriend, Noodle. Oh shit, we are on a timer. I did not realize that. Yeah, holidays have never really been my thing in general. Press L1. To, oh, we know how to jump already, game. You don't have to tell us that again. Oh, fuck. How many artifacts are we collecting? Okay, yep. We're <laughs> a little turned around. It'd be really nice if we had a way of shooting back. Get rid of your citizenship for the U.S. You have to pay $3,000 otherwise. Otherwise, they still take taxes from you. Yeah, and then there's the whole other matter of completely relocating your life to another country. Which, uh, in its own, is not that easy of a thing to do. If only has this rich Billy Joe Armstrong, that guy can pay it easily. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> the name sounds vaguely familiar, but I have no idea. Especially when it's held to gain citizenship in another country. Yeah. I guess it probably depends on, like, the, uh... Oh, Green Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it sounds familiar. Anyways, um... What was I saying? I guess it depends on the country, though, as far as, like, how hard it would be to gain citizenship. Because I imagine that some are probably, uh, relatively easy. I know right now with COVID restrictions and things, a lot of countries that normally would be accepting of other, uh... Of, well, tourists, of people gaining citizenship, etc. are still closed down. I, a lot of them have started to open up, I believe, but... I know, like, uh, Japan, for instance, wasn't accepting new people into the country for a long time. Canada's actually really hard. The easiest way is through a work visa for them. And even then, they're getting picky, yeah. True, true. I always wish when I was younger and you didn't even have to have a uh, passport to go to Canada, I wish, like, my family, I would have been too young to go on my own, but I wish my family would have went to Canada or something like that. That would have been a fun time. Just to go to another country. I mean, there's nothing stopping me from getting my, my passport and going up there just for a trip or something like that one of these days, and it's definitely something on the bucket list. But it would have been cool if you could just, like, you know just go <laughs> because hey i feel like going to canada today i'll just drive on up there like that'd be dope that was close oh are you beginning to care demo says my concern was for the artifacts and we will use them well that armor you found it is very rare indeed pecker here says it's the very armor mar once wore in his battles for this planet long ago keep it for yourself trust me you'll need it you don't trust this guy? Yeah, me neither. I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like he's going to be one of those guys that they're setting up for you to not really like. But then as you uh, get further into the story, you're going to end up being, like, best pals with him, you know? Find out that he's actually a good guy. Something along those lines. That's the vibe I'm getting from him, you know? Oh, what was that? Oh, I forgot all about that one where you can, like... Do like the the spinny thing up in the air. <laughs> I was gonna say fist things in the air, but that's not that's not quite what I meant to say. The hinge broke again. Holy here? fuck, dude! Yeah, we we that's like what the catch third time. This isn't a game. At least you didn't pay like two hundred dollars to get it fixed seen. this time, right? We monks are sworn to discover and protect the secrets of the precursors. These leaper mounts allow us to travel where you cannot. Man, those babies sure stuffed their faces. We saw one gulp below the candy rats not too long ago. Stupid rats. They just sat up. Oh, oh, oh. You will never last out here. That dark eco crystal from the satellite. I want it before it falls into the wrong hands. I'll wager a light crystal against it if you race my monks on their leapers. Sien Komtava. Barush, Barush. Just show us where the starting line is. On your monk? Get set. Oh shit, we're just going straight into the race? Okay. Uh, Move aside, I don't think we have a boost on these things, so... Oh fuck. <laughs> is this why they made Jack Combat Racing? Because this, this entire game is basically just a racing game? <laughs> Wait, did they just hit us? That seems a little, a little cheaty. See ya, monk boy! 
Oh god damn it. Oh fuck dude. Uh it's alright, we got this. Oh my god, what is am I like is it whenever I get too close to them? Like are they kicking me or something? Oh you freaking <laughs> Could I hit back? No, it doesn't seem like I can hit back in any way. Oh, fuck. Try again, yes. On your monk, you went on a trip to Europe? Ride. In high school to sing? That's awesome, dude. 14 different countries. That's insane. Yeah, I have, I've never been able to leave the U.S., at least uh, not yet. Like I said, it's definitely on my bucket list. To, at the very least, I want to go to Canada. Um, someday I would love to, to go to Japan and a couple different places in Europe. Um, but I'm not a big fan of planes. So, you know, a little iffy about that. Is there a way to just restart from here? Controls option, uh, secrets, restart. Like, I'll get on one if it's absolutely necessary, but it's not something that I, uh, <laughs> that I look forward to doing. I'd much rather just, uh, drive somewhere or take a, or take a, a plane. Get set. Ride. There's a recycling center that can tell you if it's worth keeping or not. Don't want to pay another 200 bucks. I Here don't blame you there, man. Are we on those things from Star Wars? They do kind of look like them, don't they? You're right. From what I've seen of them, at least. Never watched Star Wars here, except for episode four. Fuck, dude, again? Jesus Christ. Technically, you're safer in a plane than in a car. I mean, I know that. I know that's true. But I still just don't like it. <laughs> in a car, I can pull over and get out if I need to for some reason. In a plane... I am in that plane until it either crashes or lands, one or the other. Do not like that. <laughs> I mean, it's somewhat true for like a train too, and I don't mind trains too much. Um, like once you're in the train, you're you know you're in the train until until it, it gets where it's going, um, which is fair enough, I guess. But in a train, at least I'm not, you know, I don't know how many miles, but way up in the freaking sky. Plus, like, whenever a plane crashes, you're basically as good as dead. A train crashes, there's actually a decent chance of survival. There was a uh, train crash just not too long ago. I forget where exactly. Um, but a, uh, a dump truck, for some reason, was on the tracks at an unmarked crossing. And uh, knocked a train off of the rails. And there was only two people, I think, out of, like, 230 that, uh, that went down. That went down, that died, which is, I mean, still sucks, you know, but a hell of a lot better than the everyone. I don't plan on it. Why are you so obsessed with death? Because of that, the day star approaches, and every day... Stretch? That sounds like a good idea, actually. It's about time for a break anyways after this cutscene. Yes, let's get a stretch, dude. Oh, I suggest it for everyone. It has been a little over an hour, so that means it's time for a break anyways. Uh, but while I'm doing that, I'm going to stand up and stretch. Highly suggest you all do the same. While you're at it, why don't you get a drink? Maybe some water? If you're not into that, then I don't know. Whatever you prefer. But just, it's good to get up and move around. You two, you, you two. Big Daddy Pee Wee and uh, Nate, I know you guys are probably like sitting on the floor at a table or something sorting cards. Get up and, get up and stretch. We'll be back in like three to five minutes, guys. Meh? No. Noodle. No meh. Just do it. <laughs> so the, the true boss of every God of War game, freaking uh, skinny ass ledges that you gotta traverse around. These things are so easy to fall off of. <laughs> like, honestly, I think I died more to them than anything else most of the time. At least whenever I was practiced in God of War. Right now, uh, you know, don't be surprised if we if we die to a, a boss or two every now and then. You don't know, haha, you don't remember them at all? Yeah, I I'm pretty sure it was Ascension, love. Because I, I was playing a little bit of it the... I was going to say the other day, but I guess it was actually a month or two ago. <laughs> I was playing a little bit of it. 
And I'm fairly certain. Don't you have a disc with like all the games for... Wait, what? Didn't we save to slot two earlier? Oh no, is it broken? <laughs> the, the memory card may be broken. <laughs> but I'd save. Memory card slot one. We definitely saved a slot two this time. Okay, it's there. Although it says invalidate on both. Before we actually quit the game, we might have to save to slot two to the to the official memory card that I have in. So I'd rather not lose the progress. And you have a disc with like all of the games for PS4 or three. Yeah, so I mean Yes. I don't remember if it has all of them or if it's two different collections. And and then God of War Ascension though is separate from all of them. Like, it's, it's its own standalone game. It's not on one of those combo pack deals or anything like that. But yeah, I have the I have the remasters for all of them. And the originals of, well, God of War 1 and 2. And then, do I have... I don't think I actually own the originals for Ghost of Sparta and uh, the other one anymore. I did Once Upon a Time, but that was, you know, a long time ago before I... My house caught on fire and everything, so... I don't think I have the original PSP games anymore. I'll have to get a copy of those again. Fun times? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we almost died. That was close. Too close. <laughs> Alright, so... Man, we gotta get that sword. Get that sword and all of our troubles will be solved. If we can just, just get to the sword... Get to the oh wait <laughs> i always forget in this part you gotta you gotta you gotta damage the dude a little bit first and then you can do the whole sword thing oh okay well yeah that's fine you're just gonna go all the way over there don't take that <laughs> bruh all right r1 yes funnel all of our power into the sword And don't pay attention and take a bunch of hits. That's part of the what he's telling us to do, right? <laughs> so every time he punches down, we just gotta we just gotta hit him a little bit. You can't get very many hits on him, but you can get a couple at least. Should probably also use this. That'd probably do much more damage. And since it makes us invulnerable anyways, it's yeah. Like this is the actual strat to do probably. Yeah, you want to replay them. Okay, the rest of Little Big Planet and finally finish Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, you need to do all of that, love. Um, Little Big. All right, guys, we are back. And yeah, see, like that's that's the thing, right, Psycho? I know Rue is technically correct. Like Rue, I know you're t technically correct planes are safer like per person traveled or whatever less die on planes than they do in cars 100 percent, i understand that but it's like psycho said um i've only ever been in one car wreck it was a single car wreck and i walked away from that with nothing but some sore muscles i have never heard of somebody in a commercial flight <laughs> you know going down and walking away period <laughs> so like I'm just iffy about it, man. I don't know. Like I said, if I ever absolutely had to, I would. And honestly, I think once we got up in the air, it wouldn't be so bad for me personally. I don't think, but I, I'm not 100% sure, man. I uh, I have bad anxiety for anyone who doesn't know. And I, I feel like the whole plane trip thing would probably be a trigger for it. Um, just, yeah. If I ever do have to get on a plane for something, I'm definitely going to talk to a doctor about refilling my Ativan prescription before I get up there. Because my plan is, pop a few of those, go the hell to sleep, and, uh, <laughs> and, and call it a day, man. Wake me up whenever we, uh, whenever we land. Cat bomb an emergency BRB. Tiny metal coffin, yes. That's exactly what it would feel like, man. It would feel like being close in a tiny metal coffin. I'm just not into it. I'll pass on that. Again, unless I absolutely have to. If I do, then so be it. My, uh, if, whenever, because, again, someday I definitely want to. Whenever I uh, eventually get to see the, the world, my plan is to uh, probably do it by boat. 
honestly, and again, I know boats aren't the safest way to travel, but I think I would prefer that to a uh, to a plane. And with a boat, you just like get all the amenities. Like the the trip itself is part of the experience, right? On a on a like nice cruise ship or something like that, which would be really cool. Um, and then there have been talks too about getting a train line going from the Americas to well from North America over into I think Russia is where it would connect and then go down from Russia towards like China maybe branch off into like the Europe's um to the Europe's <laughs> to to uh to Europe and things like that so there have been talks of something like that it's it's unlikely to happen anytime in the near future but maybe someday that will be a uh, viable option Highly recommend flying at the front, facing a different, different direction than everyone else. It's amazing. It's like riding a car facing the rear. The dizzy, if I have to and I have a choice, I, I will. I'll keep that in mind. Almost as much as I don't like you, and you've got some proving to do. Intercept those bad boys and give them hell. Who knows? You might even get a few toys for your effort. Why does it sound like you're leaving out the dangerous parts? Jack, I'm getting some nasty juju vibes here. I don't have these whiskers for nothing, you know. Relax. We could handle a few metalheads. Have you ever seen a wasteland metalhead? No. Why? Nothing. Just wondering. Go get them, heroes. <laughs> Why does this guy hate us so much? Like, what the hell did we do? <laughs> I'm getting the, the feeling he's just not that friendly to outsiders in general. Sand shark, that's a new one. So does this one actually have guns that we can use? It does, hell yeah, dude. It also feels like it may be faster. Okay, yeah, but it slides around whenever you turn, so it, it handles differently too, which is honestly kind of nice, you know? Keeps it, uh, keeps it different, keeps it new. Oh, and we already flipped it, <laughs> holy shit. Flipped it a few times, let's go. So I'm guessing we just shoot the hell out of them until they die, right? Oh, hi. <laughs> you turned around real fast there, bud. Oklahoma has an Air Force base. We have hundreds of planes come every day. I bet that's uh, fun, huh? Hearing them flying around all the time. I've uh, spent most of my life living near an airport. And uh, that's always just annoying as hell. <laughs> just the constant sound of the the giant planes going back and forth above your head you love planes so yes i mean fair fair i uh like i said i'm, I'm a train guy i do really like trains but even then i think the if i had to deal with the sound of them all the time ow uh <laughs> i think that would get a bit much i mean i guess eventually it would probably just like you would drone it out it would be background noise at some point Right? Like, you would just get used to it. Holy hell, this thing controls really weird. The back tires just like to completely slide out from behind you. There's got to be, like, some sort of uh, out-of-bounds glitch you can do with the way that thing flung me like that. Oh, shit. I think he blew us up. <laughs> I think I think we're dead. Try that again, maybe. Oh, we respawned with uh, one of them already down, so it kept our progress. That's nice, I guess. Honestly, we had run into him so many times and hadn't taken hadn't taken any damage that uh, I didn't realize running into them could actually damage us. Oh fuck! Spin, spin around. But dude's an air force base. Got fighters out and about. And to me, the literal coolest thing in the entire world is a fighter jet. And yeah, most of them are high enough where we don't hear them. See, that's not too bad. Like I said, where I was, it was close to an airport. Um, so we would hear the, the planes landing and taking off all the time. Because they'd be flying real low to the to the ground, you know, coming in for, for landing or, or taking off or whatever. And that's the part that annoyed me. Whenever they're high up in the air, they're really cool to, to watch. There was actually, before my... Uh, I don't know what age exactly, but before I realized that, hey, maybe flying probably isn't for me. That was like a uh, potential career path was that Air Force for me when I was younger. I thought that'd be really cool to do, to fly specifically fighter fighter jets. I thought were really neat. 
but uh, then at some point, you know, at some age, I realized that, hey, you know, the actual thought of flying kind of scares the shit out of me. <laughs> so that, uh, that, that idea died in its tracks pretty quick there. These things are annoying as hell. Just die. Flying was okay. Yeah, I think even Noodle said that you preferred uh, the train to the to the plane, right? As far as like actually riding around went. I mean, and I assume like everything else, you know, once you fly a certain number of times, you probably get so used to it that you don't even really care anymore. It just becomes part of life. Uh yeah, I just, I just, I know myself, man. Oh, fuck. Holy shit, dude. Uh. <laughs> we got flung like a motherfucker. They're big, they're loud, they carry missiles, and they look cool. It's an amazing work of engineering and technology. Very true, man. That, I, I mean, no one can disagree with that, I don't think. Just the idea that, that humans in general were able to figure out how to send giant hunks of metal into the air, let alone at the speed and whatnot that we've accomplished, you know, is, is truly amazing. No, fuck. Okay, we're alive. We don't have much health left, though. Uh, flip over, please. Game. There we go. Thank you. You back in the cat vomit is taken care of? You need to stop talking about that. You're going to make Noodle throw up next, man. Then we're going to have human vomit to deal with. <laughs> noodle doesn't deal well with uh, any bodily fluids, let's say. I don't want <laughs> Cat rarely ever gets sick. She'll get vomit hairballs sometimes, but this is the first time she's ever thrown up her food. Oh, God. Our cats love throwing up food and uh, hairballs and shit like that. For a while, it was so bad, man, that we actually had to... Uh, put them on a, a special diet to uh, to help stop them from hairballing all over the place all the time. Come on, one more. Just go down, dude. I wish we could aim or have, like, Daxter. What's he doing? Can he not, like, hop on a turret? Maybe, maybe aim it a little bit? Oh, shit. Don't hit us. There's been times she's called me from upstairs asking if I'm okay. That's true, actually. I have had to do that. But she's also the type of person that just, like, anything will make her get sick, man. Noodle is ridiculous about that. See, I'm the exact opposite. I cannot throw up, even if I want to. It just doesn't happen. I do not get sick in that way. The only time I've thrown up once, excluding when I used to drink in the past, like, what, 16 years or something like that? Maybe longer? It's not like I never get sick or anything like that. It's just when I do, I don't throw up. And then you have Noodle, where if uh, she sees something like, I don't know, hair on the on the ground or something like that, or hair stuck to her, yeah, she wants to vomit. Like, it's ridiculous. And this dude just... Oh, we're dead. We're still alive! Holy shit, that didn't even really seem to do any damage. All right, they're done. All of them are done. Oh, wait, no. Shit, there's still another one? I thought they were all dead. Here's what you want to know. Why aren't we getting faster? The fighter with the faster recorded speed was retired in 1968. I couldn't tell you that. Maybe, uh... I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I know, like, I, I remember reading why at one point, or maybe I watched a video, but, like, why they stopped trying to make commercial planes faster. But as far as, like, fighter jets and things, I couldn't tell you, man. That is odd, though. I didn't know that. If you 
that they haven't been faster since 1968. At least, you know, to the public knowledge. Why didn't he seem to recognize you too, Jack? This does it gives me the creeps. He literally said, no, not you. I think maybe you guys know each other somehow. Just <laughs> throwing that out there, man. Maybe more speed isn't always better. Uh, that's fair enough. <laughs> I mean, you would think that you would want to be faster than your enemies at the very least, right? Whenever it comes to, like, dogfighting and things. I would imagine that would be the minimum goal, but I uh, I don't know. And the way I look at any sort of thing with the military is they're dealing with this stuff all, all the time, right? They have people that are highly trained in the intelligence community specifically to know what they need to, to beat their enemies. I'm just some dude, like, <laughs> so if anyone knows, it's not going to be me. Like, they know so much more about this than I do, so I just have to kind of trust their judgment on that kind of thing. It is very likely it's hidden. My teacher says there are many weapons and stuff like that that are hidden right now because they don't want to give away secrets. Oh, yeah, no. I'm I'm 100% positive about that. Like, that's true for, for any government, let alone our own, you know? Every country is going to have their, their own... Uh, Weapons, secrets, and things like that, or at least any of them with, with a large military. That is, uh, very highly guarded. It's funny, I forget the, the game. I can't remember it off the top of my head. It's one of those tank battling games, um, where they have had classified secrets leaked three times over the past couple of years on their forums because tanks weren't quite accurate enough for their players, um... So they took, like, classified documents because they were people in the military. And they were like, no, that's not how it works. Here's proof. And then they would scan or take photos of these classified documents and upload them to the fucking forums to prove that, hey, your shit's not accurate. You need to change it. And it's like, dude, you can't just go around uploading classified secrets on, on these tanks because you want your video game to be that you like to play to be more accurate. Like, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> uh some points, perhaps there is a point of no return where one could be too fast and not be able to be maneuvered. I mean, I feel like I'm sure that is a problem. But, like, at the same time, I mean, like you said, the, just the planes that we have are such, such marvels of engineering. I find it hard to believe that it's not something that could be overcome, right? Like, I'm sure the faster you go, that becomes more and more of a problem. But there's got to be a solution to that, too. Now, maybe they just haven't found it yet, though. I don't know. We'll see if your skills are of use to us. The purity of the arena is our only guide. Excuse me, um, Mr. Sand King. Yes, I'd like to place a complaint. We've been training hard. My feet are killing me, and I think I'm getting a hangnail. So maybe I'll just sit this one out. Enough talk. The arena awaits. Hangnails are the fucking worst, dude. <laughs> I hate hangnails so much. Can we just wait till they learn how to reverse engineer antimatter? Get an antimatter drive power in our planes, dude? Hell yeah. Press twice to select the wave concussor. Hold R1 to charge and then release to fire a bigger blast. Is that all the, the more charges up? Five shots? Sounds like it's still getting higher pitched. Oh no, I think it stopped now. Okay. Oh. Okay, so that like radiated out from us in all directions. What happens if we just tap it? Same thing, just much closer. Oh, weird. Okay. So that must be that shotgun that puts a little, like, blast in front of us, but with an attachment. So it fires out from the ground. So I'm assuming at some point we'll probably get another attachment for this weapon, too, then. Very cool. Okay. See, so far, this game seems much better made than Jack 2. 
uh, which I which I appreciate. Like I'm not clipping into geometry nearly as much. The overall design of the city is much more fun to to run around in. Um, IMO, but it has the same problem for me. I I just prefer, like I said, the the more I guess platforming focus of uh, of Jack One and the 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 platforming style level design instead of doing these same sort of missions over and over again, right? Because, like, we've done, what, three driving missions at this point? Three or four? We're going back for our, our second arena mission? Like, I just want to run around somewhere, have some, some fun platforming shit, maybe solve a puzzle. Will you stream the first Postal game? Maybe one of these days. I We've had the conversation before, Hattie. I, I haven't looked into it yet to see uh, how Twitch feels about Postal. That's, uh, oh, it's free now, really? I didn't know that. Um, well, it's probably not free for PS2, though. Because, not that I have to play it on PS2, but I would like to, uh, since it was a PS2 game, right? Pretty sure it was. Anyways, I'd have to play it for PS2 at some point, so. It's free on Steam, yeah, okay, okay, okay. It expands out as you go on. Oh, shit, I just killed myself, didn't I? Yep, <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> GG. From what I heard, there's almost hardly no antimatter that we have here. Like, we have to be careful how we test it or some shit. Uh, I don't... How would we even... Because, like, the whole thing with antimatter... Excuse me if I'm, I'm mistaken on this. I haven't, you know, studied any sort of physics in a long time. Um, but isn't the thing with antimatter, whenever it touches matter, it just explodes? Like, they annihilate each other? Because it's, it's like our matter, but with the exact opposite charge or something like that. So whenever they come in contact, it's just complete obliteration. Um, so how would we even, like, collect it <laughs> to, to use it? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Plus, uh, I, I'm pretty sure you are correct on the whole antimatter being rare, too. I feel like I've read somewhere that... Like, because you would expect whenever the, the Great Expansion, Big Bang, whatever the hell you want to call it, whenever the universe was created, you would have expected there to be, like, a 50-50 mix, but that's not what we actually have. It's, like, a very small percentage of antimatter is estimated to be out there compared to, you know, matter, which makes up everything we know. So is uh, fairly abundant. Okay, so maybe try not to die this time. That was really close, actually. Alright. Who are we fighting? Are they... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, are they going to spawn in? Or <laughs> what are we doing here? Go to the bright blue light, I guess. Press L2 to summon your dark power. Okay. Okay. Very well, will do. Okay, with the big groups of people, maybe this would be handy. How big of a... Oh, shit. Uh, we're dead. Oh, we have to go from platform to platform. That makes so much more sense. I'm an idiot. All right, got to be a little more careful. <laughs> Actually pay a little bit of attention to what the hell we're doing. This weapon seems pretty damn effective, though. I'm not going to lie. All right. Run the hell away before we get submerged in lava again. Yeah, it's like a one-hit kill on these dudes. Hell yeah. The only problem is that we have to wait for it to charge up a second to have any kind of range at all. Next platform. Only 11 dudes left. We got this. No problem, man. Three more. Where you at? Two more. Dunzo. I'm waiting to fall in the lava again. After the fight, just, just I have to redo it because I'm a dumbass. You need to dedicate your life to finding antimatter. 
Someone's got to do it, right? I can't believe you two are still alive. Yeah, what a surprise. Demos and I are very impressed. Hey, Featherbutt, who appointed you king? He did. Well, almost. Kind of a semi-king. You know, you should see our sleeping quarters and his harem of lovebirds. <laughs> I never get any sleep these days. <laughs> It's good to be the king, no? I don't see no crown on that fat feather head. You want a crown? I'll crown you. Don't make me come down there from this perch. I got a perch for you, Birdie, right here. Twirl it. That's it. It's go time. Bring it on, bird brain. Enough. If I wanted you to fight, I would have commanded it. You did very well, Jack. You make me proud that our training program is so good. See, this guy's like second battle amulet. Weird. New weapon mod. One more arena win, and you will be a true wastelander. Like, th there's something he's not telling us. That much I'm sure of. Um, what was I gonna say though? Oh, it like bounces. I was wondering how the hell it's any different. Um, oh, the energy applications for antimatter would be really cool, man. If, if we ever found, like, an abundant source of it. Because, I, again, I forget the numbers. I haven't looked into any of this sort of stuff in a long time. But if I remember correctly, it's something like nuclear fission releases, like, what, 20% of the, the potential energy from, from an atom. Whereas nuclear, or I'm sorry, uh, whereas uh, antimatter, if you had matter and antimatter collide, it's, like I said, like, they just completely decimate each other. So it's just, like, a 100% capture of that energy all being released at the same time. So, like, the amount of energy that you could create from it would just be amazing, you know? Like, five-fold what we're getting from nuclear fission, which is incredible. <laughs> now, obviously, there would be challenges in, like, how the hell to... To capture it, how to store it, how to to make use of that massive release of energy and things like that. Because as uh, I'm sure we all know from different disasters that have happened, even with nuclear fission, the amount of energy that it outputs can sometimes be a little much for us to handle whenever things don't go exactly to plan. But the potential is there, which is just, just really cool if they ever figured it out. That nuclear fusion, which is something they've been working on for a long time, that would also be awesome to see actually get worked out, you know? Harness the power of a sun, basically. A little miniature sun. $62.5 trillion a gram. That's an expensive substance. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit, yes. Yeah. Fuck, hey, dude. Jones, <laughs> That's, uh, my god. So that is literally an unimaginable yeah, amount of money. Of like... Are you Jack? If you knew what was happening out here, you'd be afraid, all right. What's going on here? Nothing, your lordship. Just old friend Jack and the little one here. Some healthy advice. You have a reputation for being rash. Didn't your father ever tell you to pick your battles wisely? I didn't know my father. My point is, sometimes you face your enemy head on, and sometimes you wait until his weakness is revealed. Patience is a warrior's greatest weapon. Do you understand? Jack, I want you and Cleaver to go into the desert and herd a group of lizards into a waiting transport. We must prepare for whatever lies ahead. I need all the resources we can gather. No problem. <laughs> I'm good with animals. I'll see you out there. Ciao. <laughs> there it is. It's hey, listen. <laughs> I couldn't remember what it was either. I should add a uh, an alias for that one. Um. For, for either just hey or or hey stream or something like that because that would uh that would be nice 1.75 quadrillion an ounce again literally unimaginable amount of money man I could I I, I don't even I don't even have anything to compare that to you know <laughs> like shit a million dollars even is like a shit ton of money to to someone like me a billion is where I draw the line at just I can't imagine. A quadrillion, that's just... I wouldn't even know where to begin. I remember there's this video that pops up all the time um, from Tom Scott of him showing the difference between a, a million and a billion and just, like, how great of a difference that is and how hard it is for, for people to, to really 
um, put that into perspective, right? So, like, what he did was he rigged up a, a GPS so that every, you know, unit of measurement that, that was traveled equaled a dollar. And he walked a million dollars, and it only took him, you know, a couple minutes to walk for a million dollars. And then he hopped in a car, and in that car he drove for, like, 40 minutes or something like that on a highway in Europe. Like, so, at speed, and it took him 40 minutes to reach a billion. It, around there, at least. It, it probably wasn't exactly 40 minutes. I'm just, I haven't seen the video in a long time. But the point is that, yeah, like, it's just, it's insane, the difference between just a million and a billion, you know? Crazy, dude. So then for a quadrillion, yeah. Can't even begin to imagine. But what, what, what were you having me hate listen for, Noodle? <laughs> What did you, what did you pull that out for? Sorry, the cutscene ended. I wanted to uh, throw in my two cents on the quadrillion thing. Should you? Oh, wait to get your shower? That's completely up to you, love. I have no idea. I mean, I know you have to get up early tomorrow, don't you, Noodle? So it'd probably be better for you to get your shower soon instead of later. Even if you just sold one gram, you could pay off the entire U.S. federal debt three times over. Exactly. Like, that's crazy, dude. Like, everyone knows that the U.S. has a shit ton of debt. So to think that one gram would be enough to pay it off, let alone pay it off three times over, that's crazy, man. We are just running around shooting these things, right? Oh, are we supposed to be destroying this? What are we... What's the goal here? What's that other vehicle? There's, like, another vehicle over here. I don't care. You won't be able to sleep anyways. Fair enough, I guess. Do whatever you want to do in that case. Ow. Okay. Can't go in that. <laughs> that did not work. Because it seems like these guys just keep spawning. So, I don't think we're supposed to just drive up close to a leaper. Okay. Are you getting a shower? I got one earlier today. Oh. Oh. Why the hell? How did it just die? Was it the stuff on the ground? Anyways, all those ones that I killed, how did I not, like, <laughs> already get close enough for him to jump on one? Can they jump? They can. Okay. It seems like whatever that shit on the ground is, it murders them. Oh, they also, if they run into anything, they die too. Leapers are very fragile creatures, aren't they? Holy hell. Guess that's what I get for hardly paying attention. <laughs> no idea what's going on. There's one. Uh, jump on it, maybe? Thank you. Oh, God. Stuff on the ground. Oh, God. That's... Fuck, dude. <laughs> uh, I just want to murder these leavers. Why can't I just kill them? <laughs> It'd be so much easier. You left your glasses and your sleep aid at your friend's house? Dude, that sucks. <laughs> How'd you leave your glasses, of all things, you know? The sleep aid, I could understand maybe forgetting that, but glasses? Bruh. Drive up Get it closer. I remember... Oh, God. Okay. Do they have, like, a stop running button? Just, just please? No, dude, we were right there. Oh. Uh, I hate these things. Uh, okay, well, we murdered that one. <laughs> Oops. My bad. You're not used to them? Okay, I mean, I, fair enough, I guess. I just, I forgot them one day whenever I was going to work. Um, months ago at this point. Because, you know, I, I take them off whenever I go to bed. And... Why did you not jump on any of them? I was basically running them over, dude. Oh, um, maybe there's, like, different colored ones and we can only do certain colors? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, uh, point is, yeah, I ended up having to have Noodle uh, bring them to me because I just knew I would be I would be screwed going the whole day without them. Like, I can function without my glasses. I'm not entirely blind. But, uh, oh, fuck. They need brakes on these stupid leapers. 
Okay, turn, please. There we go. Uh, no, 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 dude. Why do they go so fast? <laughs> when they control like shit, they just slide around all over the damn place. Is your sleep aid you're worried about? That shit is expensive. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, what sleep aid do you take? Is it like a prescription sleep aid or something? The only reason I'm curious is I also have trouble sleeping. And I've tried uh, melatonin, but I didn't like the way it made me feel. And um, then I used to take like Tylenol sleep aid, but I had a, or like Tylenol, nighttime Tylenol or some shit like that. And then it, uh, I had a bad reaction to it one time though. So yeah. Now there's a chance that I may have accidentally taken too much. I was taking it when I was in a lot of pain. <laughs> So I was taking more Tylenol than usual to help deal with it. So that could have been the problem. But regardless, I just, I haven't taken any more since because, you know, I'm different or I, I'm different because I, 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 I feel different about it now, I guess. I don't know. I'm not even sure why I said different. Just melatonin, but you've gone through a lot of different sleep aids. Melatonin, the max for an adult is 30 milligrams. Yeah, I know. And like I said, I've tried melatonin and it did help me go to sleep. Don't get me wrong. But it just, it made me feel like crap for some reason. Um, so I just kind of stopped taking it. Like my nose, it almost felt like my nose got stuffy the whole time I was, uh, whenever I would use it. Like I could hardly breathe. Like I could, like, you know, whenever your nose gets stuffy and it feels like you can't breathe, right? Like not literally I couldn't breathe, but just that, that feeling of, of being a little restricted or something. Shit. Yours are strawberry gummies? Hell yeah, dude. There's one. Come get the only Maybe sleep aid that's ever worked for me is my uh, anxiety medication, Ativan. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the other one um, that I was prescribed for whenever I uh, fucked up my back real bad. Um, it's like Ativan, but it's not Xanax. There you go, Xanax also. Conked me out just fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. But obviously, you can't take those long term because highly addictive, and uh, also one of the few drugs that'll kill you if you get too too addicted and then just stop it suddenly. So yeah. Dino go zoom. Dino definitely go zoom. You're gonna get your shower. Do it. Get your shower. They fucked up your manager Xanax? How did they fuck up your manager Xanax? Oh, you can, like, charge a jump? Okay, that's kind of neat. They gave her their Azepam. Oh, Ativan. Okay. That's that's what I take. Ativan. The Razapam. The Razapam is just, like, the 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 name of the drug or whatever, whereas uh, Ativan is the, the brand name. They're both anti-anxiety medications, uh, also used for, for seizures, muscle aches, they, all different kinds of things. Um, they are a, a drug that has a lot of effects on the body. But uh, anyways, they're the same class of drugs. They do the same thing. It's just Ativan is, lasts for a shorter period of time, but acts much quicker in the body. Whereas Ativan is usually used whenever you need longer relief from something. Um, which is one of the reasons why it's like a good sleep aid because it lasts a lot longer But again, not something you're supposed to take for extended periods of time And if you do have to for some reason like say for seizure treatment um, Whenever it comes time for you to get off of it. You have to be weaned off very slowly Because it will literally kill you If you just stop it too suddenly not a good time. Oh, this one's got missiles, dude. Hell yeah. How the fuck did that happen? Yes, how did that happen? That's a, that's a very good question, actually. Like, that doesn't seem like something a pharmacy should be messing up. She's like, this is not what I normally take. I feel a little funky. Yeah, I can imagine why. It's also, uh, lorazepam is also a lot stronger than Ativan is. Um, but generally prescribed in a lot lower doses than Ativan, than, than, fuck. Yeah, usually prescribed in a lot lower doses than Xanax, though, for that reason, because it's so much stronger. 
took them back to the pharmacy and they're like, oh yeah, that's not right. <laughs> Dude, seriously, how do they mess that up? That's crazy. That's insane. The lady was like, oh, I think I filled that one. I mean, I guess at least she owned up to her mistake. Okay. We're fine. Everything is fine. We made it to where we're going. We didn't die. I don't know what this place is, though, that we're going to. I just saw a new icon on the map, and I was like, sure, I'll check that out. <laughs> you were taking Concerta. Your doc told me to stop taking, and you had your first ever panic attack. It felt like it lasted a damn week, but apparently it was all in a day. Yeah, panic attacks aren't fun, man. <laughs> Not at all. That's uh, why I was originally prescribed Ativan, was for panic disorder. Um, cause the anxiety attacks suck and I, have struggled with some form of anxiety basically my whole life. But once the panic attacks started, that was, uh, that was living hell. <laughs> They're not fun. I totally get what you mean with a, uh, one day feeling like a week though. Oops, my bad situation. She got Xanax. She was prescribed. Still though, that's just like crazy. Especially since they are controlled substances. Both of them. Very controlled substances. Like, like whenever I went to, uh, a, a... a a uh, psychiatrist over the phone, for instance, she told me like, hey, we need to redo your prescription for, for Ativan, but I can't give that to you. You're going to have to go to a physical doctor because it's it's a controlled substance. I can't give it to you over the phone. Like, you have to see someone in person to get a prescription. Like, it's one of those substances. She was like, I can give you all of the, uh, all of the antidepressants and things like that, no problem, but... In order to get this stuff, you're going to have to go see someone else. <laughs> and I was just like, my God, dude. She suggested I just go to my primary care physician, you know, tell her uh, that the psychiatrist recommended or whatever, and I could probably get it that way. But I never ended up doing it because it would just be pain in the ass. Plus, I don't technically have a primary care physician at the moment. So there's that, too. I'm assuming there's going to be something up here. Why else would there be all this uh, platforming goodness going on? Can we, like, turn around, maybe? Nope. Okay, we're good. Everything is good. Oh, God. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> you had to take it again to stop it and then weaned off it. How the hell do they not get in trouble, though? That's the thing that, like, boggles my mind, right? Like, <laughs> that they can just be like, oops, my bad, and fix it, and it's not an issue. Like, mistakes definitely happen in, in any career, but that you would think they would have some sort of checks and balances in place to stop that sort of thing. Because, like, what would have happened if your manager had just, like, pocketed half that bottle before she took it back or something, you know? Like, <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we're we're alive. Oh, I thought we were dead. Same with um Levothyroxin. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> you have to have an appointment to get more refills, yeah. I did end up filling my antidepressant that they uh that they prescribed me, the the psychiatrist, but I never used it. I've never had a good reaction to a uh antidepressant. I'm hoping that they end up uh getting shrooms approved in the u.s at some point because there have been some studies that have shown that uh microdosing shrooms in a professional environment can offer significant re uh, relief from depression and anxiety yeah lost being the operative word if they vanished don't you think that was a sign hello yeah but you've got me all we have to do is hit those accelerator rings and we're golden oh no See any feathers here? Looks like fur to me. No feathers, no flyer de Atzo. There's no way you're gonna get me on some precursor monk crap. Absolutely zippo chance. Forget it, finito. Pet chance, not gonna happen. Nope, nuh -uh. never. It's gonna happen. Yeah! <laughs> yep, there we go. You worked with her to the night she took it and she was a little out of it, like she almost forgot to set the alarm. Uh, makes me wonder what strength they prescribed her then, cause holy hell. Uh, I'm assuming we don't want to hit that, actually. Can I, like, do anything here? Oh, God. Nope, we're dead. <laughs> okay, GG. Because, <laughs> like, uh, 
a normal dose of Ativan is between half and one milligram. Like, they are tiny. Um, now, again, though, I have no idea what dose they would have prescribed her. Oh, God. Are we dead again? There's got to be a better way to fly this thing, because we hit the both the thingies. Maybe we need to like, go up and down to... Shit, okay. So I see I see our speed bar down at the bottom. Um Hmm. Read what it says. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, no, that's a <laughs> That's a fair point. I should probably do that. <laughs> oh god. Shoot closed rings to activate them. Oh, that's a closed ring. I thought that was like an obstacle we had to avoid. Yeah, that definitely helps. Oh, God. I'm surprised we hit that one. It's all right. Oh, God. We're screwed. Nope. It's fine. Everything's fine. Why is this one like misty? Is that going to like push us up in the air? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're good. We got this. Turns out reading the hints on screen help out a lot. Glad to help. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, that also gives us a speed boost whenever we hit it. Very nice. I can understand why uh, Daxter was worried to go flying with me, though. <laughs> Can't really blame him. Turns out I'm really bad at flying. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Um, can we make it? Nope. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, dude. Oh, that was so close. Stream is notorious for not reading. What are you talking about? I always read everything. <laughs> hit the thing. Hit the thing. Hit the thing. Oh, fuck. We're dead. We're so dead. God damn it. <laughs> she drove me home, okay? Wow. My guess, as far as your manager thing goes, my guess is probably uh, just because Adivan, like I said, is much stronger but shorter acting than... Uh, than uh, Xanax is, so it's probably just, like, more of an effect than what she was used to, I imagine, but different people certainly do react to things in different ways. Uh, okay. I don't like these ones that move. I'm not that good at controlling this thing. Oh, fuck. Okay, we, uh, we actually hit that. I can't read because I'm so focused right now. <laughs> I see I see some th someone telling me to listen. What did I miss? I don't know what I missed. I apologize. I'm glad there's a checkpoint. Oh god. Hopefully, we've hit another one by now. See, Nello, no read. I can't read right now, man. If I look away, I'm going to die. <laughs> it's like, um, do you want to set the alarm? I'm glad to help. No, we can't go Throw back me the home. Stream's notorious. Right behind you, partner. Doesn't like to read instructions. Right Bullshit. Read everything. Why did Rue have to make the hey listen thingy? <laughs> oh. I mean, they didn't have to make the hey listen thingy, okay? I just need I just need a gentle reminder every now and then <laughs> of what the hell's going on, that's all. Um, I'm assuming we can't just like, yeah, jump over that. Well, we tried. Love, we need to make brownies. I'm always down for brownies. I like some brownies. I 
freaking bullshit. <laughs> hey, they kind of look like the bugs from uh from Daxer. Why? Ooh, you guys suck. There we go. That'll work. That's one way to deal with them. This seems like a good use for the shotgun, actually. There we go. Holy shit, has it been almost two hours already? God damn, dude. I will say, like, just the fact that time has been passing so much quicker with this one than Jack 2 shows that I, I'm enjoying this one a lot more than I did number two. I will say that. While the missions have been a little bit repetitive in the early game, I believe Nate and what he said with it opening up a bit later. And again, the, the city and everything's just much more fun to, to run around one in this one Ooh, than it was in number two. In Jack and Daxter shows most tutorial stuff at the bottom. Sometimes it stays for too long. You just tend to ignore stuff like that after some time. Yeah, that, I'm sure that's part of the reason, but honestly, I can't lie. Like the other two said, I, I am bad at just like, <laughs> at uh, not reading things <laughs> or just missing, missing the obvious too. I'll blame some of it on the, the whole streaming thing, you know? Because for anyone that's streamed before, like, th there's something different about streaming a game than there is just playing games. Right? You're, I think it's because you're trying to focus on, on so many different things at the same time, you know? Chat, the game, talking the entire time, all that BS. So it's just like, it's a much the Let's Play curse. Yeah, exactly. It's just, like, as soon as the, the camera starts rolling, man, everything becomes so much harder. Like, I'm not amazing at video games or anything. I'm not going to sit here and lie, but <laughs> I'm decent at them usually. You wouldn't know it by watching me most of the time, though. Brownies, I'm in. I'll be by to pick some up in a couple hours. We don't have any brownie mix. Yeah. Noodle made our uh, our brownies the other day. Next time we make some, though, we'll uh, we'll keep you in mind, man. Should make a couple of batches for me to take to work. I mean, I do eat like everyone else's food at work all the time, so it'd probably be uh, probably be nice. Okay. No, that's not what I want. Uh, God, this is what I wanted. Shoot it, please, just shoot it! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh. Okay. We're fine. We're still alive. We don't have much health left though. Can I maybe... No, that's the thing. That's the, the leaper. We don't want to... We don't want to murder that. We want to leave that alive. You finish this game six times? Holy hell, man. 100%ing it at once. Glad to give Trish some trivia. Gotta get the, find out the basics for yourself, though. That's totally fair, dude. Six times. Do you... Have you played the other ones? Just out of curiosity, like one, two... Um, whatever that other one was called that most people don't seem to acknowledge as a Jack and Daxter game. <laughs> uh, we were so close. Why did we not hop on it? I'm a dumbass. Come on, stop running away, Leaper. How much to deliver the brownies, Nate? Oh, God. Probably triple the price right now with the price of gas. <laughs> That health pack is very welcome. It's like five bucks here now, and I'm glad I don't drive. The price has been going down where we live, but it is still uh, like four fifty to five dollars, depending what gas station you go to. So it's definitely not cheap at the moment, but it's better than it was. I'm dead. Yep. You got to get going first day back at work tomorrow and you need to catch up on a few hours night guys night man hope you have a decent day back at work oh god you can't like run on lava can you leaper i'm assuming no you want extra chocolatey ones ones with the most amount of chocolate in them whatever that is that'd be a 10 grand order holy hell yeah i mean i like brownies man but i don't know if they're worth that much <laughs> Oh, fuck. We're dead. 
played the first one up to one third and the second one up to 80% completion. See, I 100%ed the first one. I've only ever played the first couple of hours of the uh, second one. I do want to complete it at some point, but it just didn't resonate with me as much as the uh, first one did, to be honest. I definitely liked the, uh, the first one better. Um, the third one, while the intro sequence here I'm a little iffy about, I, I, I feel like it's going to end up getting better as time goes on. But I also am just, like, a big fan of platformers, and the first one was much more platformer-like, I feel like, than 2 and 3. Whereas it seems like 2 and 3, they started to focus more on the action side of things. Nothing wrong with that, of course, just, you know. I like the other style. Here. I'll be back. But are we gonna play as Daxter? Hey, we are! Okay. Uh, maybe don't get hit by the balls of fire. We just run straight through this? Oh, dude, okay. So what's his moves? He has a, an attack. He also has a spin attack. He can double jump. He can't crouch jump. I'm assuming he can't roll. Okay. Is that going to stop at some point? Yes. Oh, shit. Okay. That came out faster than I thought it was going to. Oh, shit. Um, where'd that other one... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was say, where did that other one go? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Can he go dark mode? No, okay. We're still collecting the dark ego, so I was a bit... Dick. <laughs> oh, my God. And it respawns us all the way back here. That's all right. We're fine. It's fine. Baxter has the same moves he had in two. Also feels a little bit similar to how he played in the, the PSP game, Daxter. Fuck, dude. We really can't make that in time, can we? I'm sure you can make it in time. I'm just being too slow, but... Okay, just, just spin like crazy, because these things are, like, disappearing and reappearing. Honestly, just kind of kicking my ass. Got him. What? No, we were on that. What the hell? I think I'm getting too impatient with it. I thought we were on that, though, honestly. All right, jump off. Oh, shit. Our second hour's up. Uh, I want to get through this Daxter section before we call it a night, though. If I could stop dying. Bruh. This isn't even meant to be a hard section, I'm sure. I'm just terrible. Okay, wait for the lava. Double jump. Can we spin to get extra distance? We can. So whenever we get to this next next, next platform, I think I need to uh, double jump. Even if it looks like I'm going to make it in one, we'll double jump just to be safe. Jack 3 was the only entry in the franchise you owned for your PS2 until you even bothered looking up the other ones on the internet years later. Naturally, you mastered the mechanics of 3 before buying 1 and 2 together. That makes sense, honestly. I never really played them on the PS2 originally, like when I was younger. Um, we had, I think, all of them. And one of my older brothers loved playing 3. Um, he played a fair bit of 2, I'm pretty sure, too. But he played a lot of 3. And then I played a little bit of 1, but I didn't actually get into the series until... Hey, thank you so much for the 5 bits, Mr. Noodle. Uh, I didn't actually get into the series until I got the Jack and Daxter collection for... What was it? PS3 or PS4? I forget which console. Um, but that's whenever I, I actually started playing. And I, I played the first one 100%. Never... Excuse me, never got around to trying out the you second one me later, Jack. until I started this whole quest to, to try every PlayStation 2 game. And uh, I knew I liked Jack 1, so I made it a priority, kind of, to, to get the Jack games. Because I figured, you know, if I like 1, I'll probably like 2 and 3. 
Plus, I know they're pretty pretty highly rated games in general. So it seemed like a good option to pick up early on. And then played two and was iffy about it. Playing three now, and, uh, well, like I've said so many times at this point, I'm enjoying it more than two, that's for sure. Three is two, but with more content, more skills, arsenal, etc. It's just better. Yeah, and then, like, other things, too. Um, like, in two, I noticed there was a lot of places around the city where random objects, like, say, this, this piece of stone here or whatever, right? Just wouldn't have any collision in two. Like, you could just walk right into it. Right? Like, it, the game felt unfinished, unpolished. Like, there were just a lot of little things like that where they just, I don't know, overlooked it or were too rushed for time. Or I, I don't know the development history of, of 2, but it, it feels like a rushed product. Or or I believe at the time I said it, it felt similar to what I would expect a game that, like, they were trying to make one style of game. But then, for whatever reason, were told they had to change the style of the game. And, uh... And that's what 2 felt like, right? Like, they, they got halfway through development of it. We're told by someone higher up, hey, no, that's not how we want to make our game. Or that's not the style we want to go for anymore. You need to change it to be more more like this, right? Like, it just felt very rushed and unpolished. But because of how much I like 1 and because I want to understand the story of 3 better... I do plan on finishing it at some point. It's just not at the top of my list. And it even has, better believe it, checkpoints. Yes, I've definitely noticed that because I've been dying left and right. So uh, the checkpoints are... Case in point. Um, <laughs> the checkpoints are very much welcome. Come on. I want to get through the section before we got to call it a night. Oh, jeez, man. Uh, no. Nope, nope. I want this one. The way you switch between guns is awkward. I'm sure I would get used to it eventually, but it feels weird, man. We're dead. Ooh, okay. Let's hit the snooze button on the break timer because I don't want that to happen in the middle of playing. One more time. Roll jumping is the fastest way of tra traversal on foot in the trilogy. Good to know. I'm sure that's uh, done a lot in the speed runs. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. That that was the wrong button. There we go. Collect the ammo. I have seen bits and pieces of the speed run for for some of the Jack and Daxter games though, and they are very interesting. I just love speedruns in general, though, so, like, <laughs> that's part of the reason why. But just seeing some of the ways that they, they just absolutely break the game is very interesting. Oh, god damn it! Where are you? Stop jumping! There you go, he's dead. Oh, apparently we never killed that one either. At least never collected the orb from it. All right, uh, for this guy down here, we wanted this gun. Okay, everyone dead? Nope, there's one guy left. There we go. Now he's dead. I like little things like that, like having to, to put that platform over the little steam geyser thing there. That's that's nice. Again, I like platformers. I like the little puzzly elements and things. That's fun. Compared to Jack and Daxter 1 and 2 and 3, roll jumping doesn't actually inflict damage. That's another interesting fact. Do I even... I probably don't even need to roll jump that one there. Okay, they probably intended you to, but <laughs> the little hover there worked. It got us through. That's all I can ask for. Okay, this one we're definitely going to have to roll jump. Oh, that was a bad attempt. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, we're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Felt my heart skip a beat there. Um, okay, there's another geyser. Oh, 
Something's happening. Do I have to do everything? Yes. Yes, you do. Make yourself useful. Orange lightning. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. We're fine. Everything's fine. That was a pit. <laughs> I thought we were just, like, going down a really steep ramp there or something. Didn't realize. Nope, that's, that's death. Where are we even trying to go with this? Like, we just sent Daxter down here. But how did we have any idea that this was going to take us somewhere useful? Um. Okay. Going up. Oh, man, we're hitting that, that one above us. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, this is not going well. We got this. It's fine. There we go. Just don't be terrible. Problem solved. Uh, excuse me? We're supposed to be jumping on that? Okay. So we went down a giant slide to climb a mountain with bouncy fabric things. There we go. Can he even push that down? That thing is much larger than he is. Yep, there we go. <laughs> it's more or less what I expected. Oh, God. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it would pan to him being, like, crushed underneath of it or something. Not, like, dead or anything like that, but just, you know, comically crushed by it. Uh, gun, please. Oh, nope. This seems like a good time to use the shotgun. Okay, so we need to probably knock these on all of them, and then... I'm assuming we're going to have to, like, jump from one to another? Oh, no, by blocking those two, this one here fires now. Nice! Simple puzzle, but I like it. That's variety to the game. I can't help but notice that everything is still very grayish in this game compared to the first one. But I, I appreciate the variety and environments that we've had so far. Right, with the, the cityscape and then the uh, the desert sections and now this... I don't know, is it like an oasis in the desert or something? Oh god, please. Um, I'm assuming we gotta go to this. Random shrine in the middle of the nowhere? That's not creepy at all. Don't touch it, Daxter. Who knows what more dark ego would do to you? Look at me, Jack. I'm short, I'm hairy, and I itch in strange places. I couldn't. Oh, it extends your hitbox too. See, I didn't know that. I know what I'm doing. Oh, yuck! Cold, clammy, dead hands. Oh, I can't look. Look out, Daxter! Ooh. Jack? Where are you, buddy? Hey. It's a dark Did we just get a new... Some hey, that's awesome. Visibility. Yeah, well, cut it out. If you moved that fast a long time ago, I'd still be wearing pants. You know what I really <laughs> it's a good call back to the first game. Soft underpants. You know how it lifts and cradles? <sighs> you wouldn't understand. We're out of here. Anyways, yeah, the spin jump. I knew that it uh it it, you know, caused you to hover for a moment, extending your your 
your time to, to reach a ledge or whatever if your jump was a little short. But I didn't know it actually increased the size of your hitbox, too. That's awesome. Um, do we do we need to get on this? <laughs> oh, God, we're dead. <laughs> I think we waited just a little bit too long to try and jump onto those. More may have ended up spawning. I don't know. Can we... We might need a roll jump. Or no, no. It's a lot closer than it seemed from back there. I don't like these jumping dudes. Their movement pattern makes them really hard for me to hit. I guess is where guns probably come in handy. Honestly, that's should make more use of it. Very cool. Where are we trying to get to there? There's a ground there. Thank God. I'm assuming the glowy thingy is where we want to go. That makes the most sense to me. Oh, it makes us go invisible? So we can get in here! Dude, that's cool. That makes sense. That's actually a really fun section. I like that. That was nice. Total change of pace. I'm assuming we unlock this to use again later, maybe? Or not. That's fine. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. But there's another one here, which will let us get past that one now. See, I didn't even try going over there originally, so I didn't... It didn't click in my mind that there was another eyeball at the beginning of this shrine area. Oh, with, you know, some presumably really bad spikes that will try to murder us if it sees us. Oh, hi, spider dudes. Oh, god damn it. I should make more use of the dark powers too, probably. Some more stuff in the trilogy you might not have noticed. Even after playing through one and two, you can do an uppercut by punching and jumping right after. Yes, uh, you can also do it this way, right? If you just, uh, if you crouch and then hit hit square. That's another way to do the uppercut. I noticed that a, a little bit ago. I don't know if I knew you could do it by punch and then jump, though. I don't think I knew you could trigger it that way, which is neat. I'm sure that has some sort of utility that I just don't know. So I'm assuming that's a, like, instant refill of our dark ego. Which will come in handy right here. <laughs> we died instantly. That's fine. Hopefully there's a, the, a uh, checkpoint here. Yes, okay. Trigger the dark ego first, maybe? And then do we have to fight these guys? Nope, we died instantly again. All right, cut. Where's the director? I can't work like this. <laughs> what was that? Um, okay, is there an invisibility thing over here? I bet you that's what it is. You're trying to wait until the end of the stream. You're going to get your shower now, so bye if you're done before I get out. I mean, we only have like eight minutes left before I'd have to take another break, so I'm hoping to be done before then. But I wanted to finish the section. I'm having fun with it, and I didn't want to stop in the middle. Okay. What did that... Oh. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> I thought maybe that uh, whenever we hit that button, it deactivated those guys. That is not the case. Maybe we can uh, kill them, though, from the, from the inside since they're not looking in there. We can shoot them or something. We need to kill them all, so we probably need to use that charge shot. That would make a lot of sense. I was thinking of doing that, but I was like, ah, no, it's fine. I'll just shoot them all at one time. Seems like you haven't seen Daxter's dialogue yet. He has a bunch of stuff like that also in 1 and 2. I, uh... I'm not... I, I, I've probably seen it in 1 at some point. I didn't die too often in 1. I think generally 1 is an easier game than the other ones. 
than than two and three are. Um, but I'm sure I must have died enough to see it at least once or twice. But I've certainly forgotten about it. I haven't beaten Jack one in oh I don't know like eight years or something. It's definitely been a while. Now okay, that's where we came from. There we go. Here's an open door. Oh shit, we have the wrong weapon uh, loaded. Probably just spin these dudes too, right? There we go, that works. Oh man, how much longer is this section? I really wanna complete it before the time runs out. Uh, Invisify me. Thank you. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That scared me though. I thought it saw me. I don't want to find out what happens whenever it sees you. I can't imagine it's good. I waited until you used the weapon, but Dev's intent was to attack with the dark bomb while in the middle. Oh, yeah, that would make sense too, while it gave you the uh, the refill on the dark eco right before that section. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't even think of doing that though. I have so little experience with the whole, the whole dark mode thing. Um, Cause I, like I said, I only played a couple hours of two and this is my first time really playing three. Oh fuck. Oh, we actually grabbed it. I thought we were dead. But yeah, the, the idea of using the Dark Bomb never even crossed my mind. And that's why you got the Dark Eco fill, yep. Okay, so all the walls went down now. That's nice if we need to get back for some reason. Oh, God damn it. Is this, a, is this another thing to hit? No? We need to go dark on here? Nope, that didn't seem to do anything. Huh. Oh, wait. Okay. Hold on. How do you do the dark bomb? There we go. Hey, okay. So we just got some extra thingies from that. I'll take it. You also have the dark discharge you're disposal from two by doing an uppercut as Dark Jack. Is this where those monk people? You told me this yeah. Now make it so. But we have so little time. The day star approaches. You know what it brings. Unfortunate, yes. We will deal with that as soon as I have full access to the catacombs. Just continue your work, and I'll deal with those idiots in Haven. I promise, you will meet your makers. Why are the catacombs so important? That's not dark or foreboding at all. I promise you will meet your makers. I imagine the, the monk people probably want to meet their makers. I'm sure that's part of their whole spiel. But still, it feels a little odd just hearing someone say that. You know what I mean? Um, but as I was alluding to earlier, guys, I was hoping to get through this section, but I only have three minutes left on my timer for tonight, and we're already technically over time. Um, so I think we're going to have to call it here after whatever this cutscene does. Is this the end? This might actually be the end. Okay, we won't cut it yet. We've got three minutes left. This planet's future is at a critical juncture. The Dark Ones have found your world again. Fate hangs in the balance where the past and the future collide. Do you have any idea what he just said? Speak at the normal language, okay? <laughs> God damn it, Jack. Or Daxter. All the power you can muster to survive this terrible test, Great One. I can handle it. I was talking to the tall one, Shorty. <laughs> Look into the light and receive a power hero. Okay, well, now you're scaring me. Dax, the dark eco, it feels far away. 
I feel better. Light Jack? Wait, what? We got a light mode now? So like the yin to the yang? Is that what all these like yin yang symbols are for? Hold on. That's cool, man. So we end up wait. <laughs> Hold on. Is that what this here's for too? So is this light mode? Uh, can we do anything with it? It doesn't feel like it doesn't seem like we can do anything with this right now. Damn. Oh, you regenerate your health with that. Is that what this here does too then? Just regens your health? I was thinking maybe we could like use the light mode to, to I don't know, get more secrets in that room or something. I have no idea. Anyway, that's really cool though. I like that. Healing spells are always nice. <laughs> always a good thing. And then... I think that's the end of the section actually, which is again, nice because like I was mentioning a moment ago, we do have to cut it there. We are already 20 minutes over what I would normally do, but know that refills your light ego. I will have to keep that in mind. Uh, for everyone that's still here, thank you so much guys for coming and hanging out with me a little bit while I continue this journey to collect and try every North American PS2 game. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday, so I'll be off tomorrow. I'll be back Thursday with another game. I don't know what game yet because we normally just do something random from my collection that I have. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys there. Again, thank you all so much. I hope you all have a wonderful night. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye. Nip. Game left that you need to play. And then the new one that I got for you. Um, Sackboy's Adventure or whatever it's called. And Kingdom Hearts, you haven't actually played any of them yet, right? You started... Mute that real quick to say thank you for the follow, man. I do appreciate that, really. Honestly, thank you. Which little big planet is it? Number 